two weeks away now from the end of federal funding for programs that assist asylum seekers arriving in southern Arizona. Casa Elitas is one of the nonprofits that's been working to get migrants the help that they need. 13 News reporter Renee Romo, Romo spoke with the group's executive director about what they plan to do when the money runs out. Casalitas has been running for a decade and with funding about to run out at the end of March, the organization is moving forward with urgency. And I think what this looks like and what this will feel like is uh, is going to be devastating for us. As a result of the impending funding cuts, Casa Alitas has had to cut its staff by more than half, going from 62 to now around 20. But Lopez and the remaining staff are more worried about what the loss in funding will do to the people Casa Alitas was created to help. We're going to see children on the streets. And that's like the terrible feeling, the hardest feeling about it. Casa Alitas will now have to rely on private funding but it will cost around a million dollars a week for them to be able to handle the roughly 1,000 people a day. I don't have a, a you know, rabbit I can pull out of the hat and say this is, what, this is how this is going to get solved unless that rabbit has attached to it federal dollars. Aside from the money, the Tucson community has been a major help for the organization. I've been able, really fortunate to see the best of our community come out to be able to do this work, and I'm concerned that we might see some of the worst of our community come out uh, as we see families and children on the streets. Mark Evans did tell 13 News that there are still details of federal funding bills that are supposed to be released today, which means that there is a chance that Pima County won't fully lose its funding. Outside of Casa Alitas, Renee Romo, 13 News.